Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2004 free response questions, and we're looking at number three here. So a particle moves along the y-axis, so its velocity v at times t is greater than or equal to zero is given by this. At time t equals zero, the particle is at y equals one. Note, tan inverse of x equals arctan of x, if you've never seen that before. Find the acceleration of the particle. Okay, um, acceleration is always the derivative of so a of t is equal to v prime of t, the derivative of v with respect to t. Derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of, uh, uh, oh, they just, I see. You could just plug this in your calculator, I guess. Um, I'm going to just analytically do it, and then we'll use our calculator. Um, negative, the derivative of tan inverse is uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus e to the t squared, which is e to the 2t. Then by chain rule, i got to multiply by e to the t. And I'm going to plug in t equals 2. And so when I plug that into my calculator, let's just plug that in, and then I'll, I'll do the end derivative now that I know how to do that. Negative 1 divided by 1 plus uh, e to the uh, 2t, so that's 2, times e to the t, which is, oh, crap. Uh, no, t is equal to 2, so I want to plug in 2t would be 4. And this would be e to the 2. So I would get uh, minus 0 0.1329. And let's just um, let's go ahead and do it as an end, deriv end derivative. Uh, the function is v of t, so it's 1 minus uh, second, tan inverse of e to the t, e to the x. Uh, derivative of x, and I value at t equals 2. See, I got the same answer. So, all right, I can do derivatives, great. Is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at times t equals two? Well, the acceleration is negative. What you need to know is what the velocity is at that point. So the velocity at two is equal to, um, because negative just means that the velocity is going more negative, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the speed is going higher or lower. It really depends on what the, uh, what the velocity what the velocity is at that time. So the velocity is 1 minus uh, second tan inverse e to the 2. And so v of 2 is already negative 0.436. Now because its velocity is negative and its acceleration is also negative, um, that means its velocity is going to get more negative. So it may, that means it's speeding up. Some people do it as a, I, I always reason it out. Some people like to say like, oh, if the sign is different between A of 2 and V of 2, then it's slowing down. If the sign is the same, it's speeding up. I tend to not remember those kinds of rules. Uh, I tend to reason it out. I'm saying like, well, the velocity is negative. Its acceleration is negative. So its velocity is going to get more negative. And that means velocity is absolute value of speed. So that means its speed is going to be going up. Oh, uh, speeding up or speed increasing. So I guess I should write increasing speed or speed is increasing speed increasing okay cool find time t greater than or equal to zero at which the particle reaches its highest point justify your answer okay um the highest point um there's a couple ways to think of it is when the velocity velocity is zero that's a critical number well because its maximum height is when x of t is max if i want to find a max here I want to look at critical numbers, which is x prime of t is equal to 0. x prime is just v prime of t. So I want to know when v prime of t is equal to 0. Oh, sorry, x prime of t is just equal to v of t. So I want to know when v of t is equal to 0. So let's see, does this thing have a math solver? Solver, what is equal to 0? I want v of t equal to 0. v is 1 minus uh, second tan inverse of e to the t, or e to the x. Let's just leave it at default and see what it finds. No, it didn't find anything. Um, oh, it found x equals 0. That's not super important because, yeah, in the beginning it launches. Let's try 1. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the solver isn't working. Let me see.
not finding a solution. Uh, let's just solve this by hand. 1 minus tan inverse. I'm really terrible with the calculator, honestly. Uh, I can graph it if I really want. So 1 is equal to tan inverse of e to the t. That means um, uh, tan of 1, if I take the tangent of both sides, it's e to the t. Uh, tangent of 1 is pi over 4. It's equal to e to the t. So um, to get rid of this, I just take natural log of both sides. So t would be equal to natural log of pi over 4. Okay, so that would be uh, that that would be a critical number. I would want to know what the acceleration was at this point, like just to confirm. So what I would what I could do is I could calculate um, um, the end derivative. So math nine. Oh, oops, that's the integral. Uh, math uh, was it eight? Yeah, eight. I could do the der der derivative of because um, I want to know. Um, whether it's a min or a max, and I could do the second derivative test. Second derivative test for x prime would be looking at uh, a prime, so I would need to know what the um, second derivative of position would be, which is the first derivative of velocity. That's why I'm doing the first derivative of velocity here. e to the x. Um, comma x, and I'm going to plug in ln of pi over 4. And I get uh, the acceleration is negative 0.4858. So because the which is, this is the second derivative of position. So what do I have? I have the first derivative is 0 at this point. I have the second derivative is negative. That means it's concave down. It's concave downwards. That means it's a maximum. So, um, so t is equal to ln pi over 4 is when it reaches the highest point. Or um, in decimals, that would be... Uh, natural log of pi divided by 4. That's... Uh, oh, great. That's not right. That happens at negative. I shouldn't have used pi over 4. I should have done... Um, I really should have plotted this. Uh, inverse tan uh, tangent of 1 is not necessarily pi over 4. That's, the, that's not the, the only times it would be. It would also be 1 down over here because I need a time greater than or equal to 0, and this is a negative time. So I need the time over here, and that's pi, pi plus pi over 4. That's 5 pi over 4, right? So, um, so I want 5 pi over 4. Let's just double check. What's ln of 5 pi over 4? one point okay so that would be a positive time so I probably need to do this and I would still need to double check the end derivative math 8 and oops end derivative of um, 1 minus I know I should have just done this all by the by my calculator to begin with e to the x x over 5 uh, sorry ln 5 pi divided by 4. Oh, zero. Okay, we're just going to plot this thing. Uh, 1 minus tan inverse e to the x. The problem with, with I didn't want to do this because it's just kind of annoying. Um, Let's see, window it. Let's go from 0 to, I don't know, like 5. And let's go from negative 2 to positive 2. I don't know. Maybe that, that'll be good. OK, so it's around this time here. And what do I want to calculate is, uh, remember the critical number. That's what we were trying to find when v of t is equal to 0. Um, calculate uh, a 0. Oh, man. Didn't find one. Uh, that's because I, I didn't do the left bound correctly. 0. You got to do the left bound. 
Come on, get over here. There's the left bound. I don't know why you're starting at the center. Right bound's over here. Let me guess. 0.44. Okay, so. And it, let's see. Is this a um, is this a min or a max? Well, it goes from positive slopes to negative slopes. So it goes like positive slopes down to negative slopes. That makes it a maximum. So this would be t is equal to 0.443. Okay. Cool. Um, D. Find the position of the particle at times t equals two. Is the particle moving to the origin or away from the origin? Justify your answer. Um, so um, x of t is just the integral of v of t, right? dt. Um, yeah. So its position is given by the antiderivative of 1 minus uh, tan inverse e to the t dt and I only know the derivative of tan inverse I don't think I know the integral of it no, I don't know mm, I can't think of it off the top of my head um, find the position of the particle oh okay so we're gonna do the integral we're gonna integrate from 0 to 2 because that's uh, times t equals 2 and at time t equals 0 it starts at uh, negative 1 so I need to at, I need to subtract one because this is sort of its change in position and here's where it starts at because it started at negative one so we just need to compute this integral here math 9 function integral 1 minus um, tan inverse of e to the x integrating over x we're integrating from 0 to 2 and then we're going to subtract 1 so this computation ends up being negative 1.36. So that's location. Um, that's its position. Uh, is the particle moving the origin toward the origin or away from the origin at times t equals two? Well, v of two is negative, right? So if it's at like negative 1.36, if it's over here, then it's and and its velocity is negative. It's moving away from the origin. Okay. All right, that one took a little bit longer just because I was having some technical issues on part B. Uh, but let's take a look at the solutions number three. So negative 0.1329, that's what I got. Oops. Um, negative 0.436, that's what I got here, right? Negative 0.436, and the speed is increasing. Um, ln of tan of 1. Oh, I was tangent of 1, not inverse tangent of 0.443. Okay, good. And then this one is negative 1.36. I was waiting for. Okay, cool. So we at least we got all the answers right. So hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.